yeah, it's it's been a great learning experience so far and the players have made that so much easier along with the club and the support from the club. I think the the main thing is that now we we play Aberdeen uh, in the Scottish Cup, we then also play Spartans and we've got Celtic next week and that will kind of conclude the first half of the season. So we take each the game as it comes but certainly looking forward to the second half of the season as we've got some really good players returning from injury and uh, driving forward to be competitive and, and push in the league. Well, Joanna, you've joined until the end of the season. What are you looking to achieve in that period? Uh, well, I came here because uh, I needed change, of course, coming from Spartans. Like, uh, obviously, I'm looking for game time, but I'm also looking to have the team to achieve their goals and going higher up in the table and, and trying to, to do something in the cup as well. You obviously came through the ranks of Edu Sport Academy and then, and then Spartans. How much have you learned from your, your period there? It was, it was a great experience over the last two years. Like yeah, on, my, on my work, I, I learned a, f- a thousand of things and it was really good. And at Spartans uh, as well, I learned a lot t- technically and tactically. So it was a great improvement for me over there. And coming to, to Rangers now, a, a club with great prestige, that must mean a lot to you. Yeah, of course. I'm, I'm really proud to, to join the club and I'm looking forward to it and, and to, to improve more as well over the, the next year. Amanda, you're here for the next three months. What are you looking to achieve in that period? Uh, just looking to get um, high intensity training sessions and also we have a couple of games in the next month, so hopefully get as much game time as I can. You're obviously on a scholarship over in the United States, how much are you learning over there and hope to, to bring back here? Yeah, it's a really different kind of style of play over in America and we play a lot more games in a short space of time, so you have to kind of balance uh, with training and recovery as well, so I've learned a lot through that. Women's soccer, of course, is a, a massive sport in the States. Tell us you know, how it compares to what it is here in Scotland. Mm-hmm. Um, it's highly competitive because we're playing at a college level. So you have an intense pre-season and then you just go straight into the season, playing up to two or three games uh, a week and then you could be training twice a day, every day you'll maybe get one day off and you really have to take that recovery time and start thinking about the next week. Caitlin, you've joined till the end of the season. Just how much are you looking forward to getting started here at Rangers? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting started. The girls have been great, the coaches have been great. It's a really good environment to be part of. It's a bit of a step up from what I was used to at Glasgow City playing the development squad, but really looking forward to it. It's, it's a great learning environment for me. Must mean a lot to you to join a, a club of this prestige as well. It's a massive, massive club. It's big, there's so many people, there's so many academy teams, so many coaches, but yeah, just looking to, to take everything I can on board and, and do my best with the club and the squad. What would you, in particular, would you like to achieve between now and the end of the season? So, again, just try and cement my place in the squad. It's a really competitive squad. There's a lot of really talented youth players, are re- really a lot of talented sort of senior players and stuff. So, again, just have to try and impress in training and hopefully I can eventually cement my, my place in the squad.